What's goody guys and welcome back to another eBay reselling video where me and girlfriend go to eBay, find money sitting on the shelf, take it, buy it, and then go home and resell it for a profit. Uh, there was a lot of questions I was asked on eBay and putting it all into one video I think would kind of make it boring and I forget a lot of the questions that I'm asked. So I was thinking if you guys are interested, let me know down in the comments below if you want me to do or to do a live stream where then you can ask me all the eBay questions you want and I can literally show you uh, on my TV screen and wherever on my MacBook, wherever you want to see. I can show you exactly how I list my products, how I go through shipping, how I package, where I find boxes, uh, all of those different things. So if you want to see a live stream about eBay, any questions that you have, let me know down in the comments below. And if there is enough comments or one comment gets a lot of likes, uh, then we will go ahead and do a live stream on that. Other than that, girlfriend is feeling a little bit under the weather. She is being a trooper though. She doesn't want to go with me to the first Goodwill, but I told her that if she doesn't feel better, I will just take her home so that she can rest. So I'm waiting for her now to get ready. We're going to hit up the first Goodwill. Hopefully we can find some good things. We've been finding a lot of missing miscellaneous things not so much clothes but then again i don't really need more clothes i am still stocking up on clothes because when spring and summertime come i'm telling you guys short sleeve shirts regular shirts button downs uh things like that are going to literally be flying off the shelf so yeah we're gonna go to goodwill now let's see what we can find off rip as soon as i get into the goodwill the first thing i find is this brand new tommy hilfiger polo it's a very very nice polo very good size the only issue with it is i think they wanted like 12 or 13 dollars for it so it is kind of hard to make profit on those types of polos later on i did end up finding this puma polo now puma is a very big brand but for some reason i barely i, I never find them in my Goodwills. That one ended up having a stain. Then I found this Greg Norman and I was looking around. I'm looking at it. There's no holes, no stains. The shirt looks good. I'm about to put it in the cart and then I notice it's ripping on the tag right there and that's the reason that I put it back because I don't want to deal with those problems. A few shirts later, I'm still looking and there we go. We find a Buccaneers. I think these are like a TX3 cool polo. These things fly for me. Like people love buying those types of polos and as I was picking that one up, I found this one as well. Now the camera does not do it justice because it looks nice and red on camera, but if you saw it in person, it really didn't look that great. I'm looking for any stains, any holes, and right where my finger is, I do find a stain. If you do find stains on clothing, you really have to figure out whether or not you really want to pick it up. And then here comes girlfriend with a bunch of these like PS4 and Xbox, uh, I don't know if that was Xbox One or Xbox 360 headsets. I'm thinking, man, she hit the jackpot. She found some Titanic action some collectible stuff and a girlfriend does a great job for me e even though girlfriend was feeling under the weather she does an amazing job for me at finding things to resell you just never know what kind of day it's going to be when you get into the goodwill but i find a falcons nike dry fit polo and this thing was so clean to the point where i was literally going to buy it for myself but i'm here to make money i'm here to resell so i picked it up to sell it I'm still going through the motion, still looking at all of the polos, and I stumble upon this Nautica 2XL, another brand new shirt. This one had no stains, no holes, nothing was wrong with it. The only thing wrong with it was the brand. Nautica does not sell as good as it used to, and that kind of sucks. The last polo that I found in the row was this Green Bay Packers Nike NFL polo. It looked really good until I was inspecting it, and I'm going to tell you right now, I did find stains on it, but I picked it up anyway because sometimes, like I said, sometimes you just got to figure out whether you're willing to sacrifice some time to take off stains for profit. On the other side of the rack, I really didn't have that much success until I found this Adidas Fly Emirates uh, Real Madrid polo. Now you're looking at the back, and if, if the back had only only said Ronaldo this polo would have been worth so much money but because it does not say Ronaldo the polo is basically worthless after I got done looking at all of the polos I came over to the metal section because you never know what you can find here a lot of people want to renovate their house or something like that and Goodwill will put the stuff here and you, you could find some good deals in the metal section so I'm sitting here I'm looking around I find this like Eiffel Tower thing and then girlfriend calls me for this Steeler shirt and I'm like girlfriend slow down now girlfriend was itching to leave I don't think she was feeling that great so she wanted 
wanted to just get done and go home. I felt so bad. So I was trying to rush through everything, see what I could find real quick, and then take her home. But uh, yeah, I'm just looking around. You, you, you got to take your time. That's the thing. So always take your time, look through everything, and you could make a lot of money. But today I was kind of rushing. This is something new that my Goodwill has been doing. They've been putting out these like yellow bins full of like random things. Sometimes you can find something decent. Most of the time it's kind of just trash. I'm looking at this car right now to see if it's like a certain brand or anything. Because these little things, like it looks like trash. It's just a toy car. But if it's a certain brand or anything like that, you could potentially make some really good money. I find these Wii games. I'm like, oh yeah, we about to make some money because Wii games can sell for good money. I look at them. They're freaking $5 a piece. For NBA Live 08, they want $8. I'm like, yeah, okay, bye-bye. Once I grow my eBay business enough, I'm definitely going to open up an Amazon account and come through and search every single one of these books and CDs because I'm thinking you could probably make a couple hundred dollars in, in, a, in an hour sitting here. The toy section was a little underwhelming. Uh, they've been putting out a lot of stuff that hasn't really been good to resell, but I did find this Minnie Mouse Halloween with the wings, and I did find the Mickey Mouse the other day, so I thought, why not get the Minnie Mouse that goes with it i am selling them separately but just look at everything we got in the cart man that is so much stuff but just look at the shelf behind it uh, maybe if you had like an amazon account you could try to get these one of these board games or, or puzzles or something like that but with ebay those are very hard to sell and you have to sit there and count every single last piece if it's not new and some things could be missing and at that point it's just not worth it i rarely ever show you guys the back wall of the goodwill and and, and for good reason i mean look at this stuff it's just a bunch of crock pots microwaves rice cookers what what am I going to resell here? Who's going to want to buy a used rice cooker for $20? And then I go down this aisle. It was the wrong aisle. I tried to go down a different one, but it was just kind of packed today. I did end up coming back, though, to the miscellaneous section because I saw a lady come out and put just throw a bunch of things on the shelf. I found this Brianna frozen thing i'm not really too sure what that was but i'm going through it one more time even though i was already here i saw her put so many things up i was like okay there has to be something different here and i think i actually did eventually find something that was worth it I know the transition is kind of crappy here. I am in the second Goodwill now. I did end up taking girlfriend home, and because I took her home, everything kind of falls on me. And I'll tell you right now, it is a lot funner to resell with someone else like a significant other than it is alone. If you're doing it alone, it can get kind of boring. But I make my way over to the backpack section, and I found this floral print Jansport. Jansport backpacks can resell for some really good money. If you can get them for cheap and they're clean, sometimes even if if you, sometimes they can actually be vintage even so if you could find a vintage Jansport always pick those up because those resell for some really good money after going through all of the miscellaneous and toys and stuff I did make my way to the polos and I couldn't believe I found another brand new Hart Schaffner Marks I don't know what the problem was with this one but for some reason I didn't buy it and I'm recording I'm, I'm editing this video the second day and I still don't remember the reason. I, it might have had a... Oh, it had stains. Yep, that's right. It had two stains and it was a brand new shirt. So you can't wash brand new shirts. And if you try oxy-cleaning it, you could ruin the shirt and then lose all of your money. This one, though, was definitely a big baller find. I found a Hugo Boss with the logo on the shirt. It is a small size, but it's a Hugo Boss with no stains. That's literally going to sell for over $35 for me. I'm going to try to explain this the best that I can. So this is a LuLaRoe, right? LuLaRoe resells for awesome money if it's for women. This is a men's button down. And for some reason, LuLaRoe for men does not resell as good as it does for women, which kind of sucks. I was kind of happy until I looked it up for myself. I didn't know that even until I picked it up myself. And there, there, there comes this grandpa behind me. Yes, sir. This is actually a really nice shirt. You could, I mean, you could come to Goodwill for yourself and find some really nice stuff here if you wanted to go out on the town a little bit. So the second Goodwill that I go to actually ended up moving all of the shirts towards the middle of the store, but it doesn't matter, man. I'm here to make money. I found this Jordan shirt. It was kind of faded, but I'm still thinking Jordan shirts can resell for good money because he is a pretty, you know, he's, he's a big, he's a big brand. Do you guys remember the days where Armani Exchange used to be like a luxury brand and nowadays you find them at a Goodwill? It's insane how much this brand fell off, but it's still a nice shirt. It's still Armani Exchange. Someone is going to buy this, man. Someone out there is going to look at that and say, yes, I need that. 
For anyone that is getting into reselling though, my first recommendation if you're going to be selling clothes is look for stains. That is the biggest thing. You can actually lose a lot of money if you don't look for stains because you'll buy a shirt for like five bucks, it has a stain, you can't get it off, well you just lost five bucks. Then I found this Adidas Rise to the Occasion Cardinal shirt. Now the issue, man, with Goodwill again, they see something like this and then they jack the price up to like eight or nine dollars, so it's hard to it's hard to make profit on it. I'm getting towards the end of all of the shirts and I found this Salt Life shirt. I mean, it's brand new. The reason it was in the Goodwill because it did have a small hole on the neck where the neck is. I still ended up buying it anyway. I'm just gonna say in the listing that there is a small hole, so if someone wants to buy it, they know. At this point, I was really missing girlfriend because my feet were hurting and I just wanted to sit down, but I found an Oakley V-neck. This was the last thing that I found. I was like, okay, I'm gonna pick this up and then I'm gonna go through everything, check for stains, check for holes, and uh, go home, man. I've been reading you guys' comments and a lot of you have been wanting to start reselling as well. And when you're reselling, you wanna take professional photos. So I always come to the Dollar Tree every few weeks, maybe like every few months even, and I get poster board from here that I use to take professional photos. We're gonna go inside right now. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So you guys, if you wanna take professional photos yourself, you can copy what I do and make more sales. These are the ones that I usually go for. They're kind of like thicker material and they last a little bit longer. But if you're on a budget you can get these white poster boards two for one dollar get two of these and only pay two dollars but i still recommend getting those because those are a little better yes sir i think this is probably going to be the best way to go through all of the shirts that i found because i always like air drying all of my shirts i don't really like putting them in a dryer i have a dryer I just don't use it for shirts. Anyways, so the first thing we bought was this Hugo Boss. Couldn't believe how cheap we got it for. Actually has the logo right there. And on the buttons, if you can see right there, they do also say Hugo Boss. So that was a really good pickup. Next thing we got was this Green Bay Packers. It's a Nike NFL on field, I believe, something like that. Yeah, it's a size medium, really nice shirt, green shirt with the striped sleeves. Next thing was this Armani Exchange. Now Armani Exchange isn't what it used to be, but I thought it had a really cool logo here with the a and the x right there it's a nice green color i think it's a good size too yeah it's an xl so i think this should sell pretty good hopefully it straightens out these are definitely one of my favorite things to buy man the buccaneers are a really good team right now thanks to tom brady uh it's an nfl team uh, apparel tx3 cool and it's a 2xl the bigger the size the better the shirt sells also it has this like red right here just gives it just gives it nice character right here we got some oakley slim fit action now it is a double xl the the thing with slim fits are this would probably fit someone like in a regular fit this would fit someone that's a large but because it's a slim fit it's a double xl I, I don't know how it works man but it's got the oakley right here and also right here it's got that uh o right there no other things on the shirt but i just think it looks nice and clean it was like three bucks moving on to the atlanta falcons wow with the with the light shining on it it definitely looks like there's stuff on it but it's pure black right here we got the falcon logo right here nike dry fit double xl again and also i believe on the sleeve there it is right here it does have the nike logo and it's just a nice it's just a clean black shirt i would buy this if i was looking for an atlanta falcons polo and then finally this is the first time i ever found a jeep branded shirt it's a large i believe this is actually for women but i'm probably going to sell it for unisex just because uh i want to get it sold it's got the nice jeep right there with the jeep right there nothing else really on it it's just a really cool nice shirt and then everything back there is all my shirts so yeah that's pretty much everything i bought very very nice shirts i think i got some good pickups i'm definitely going to make some good money on these some of them were a little pricey but things like this hugo boss that i bought for five bucks and then resell it for like 30 that is going to be a great flip okie dokie let's go ahead and go through the miscellaneous stuff now i ended up going with this mini mouse halloween plush it was only two dollars and 16 cents i haven't sold the mickey mouse one but i'm pretty sure these two will sell for some good money because this is very clean and someone's gonna want this the next thing is this victoria's secret brand new with tags girlfriend actually ended up finding this one for me the only issue is somewhere on here you can't really pick it up. oh right there right there you can see like right here and right here there's a couple stains i'm gonna go ahead and oxy clean that hopefully that comes off well it, it better come off Anyways, right here, we got some Speedo Vanquisher 2.0 goggle action. They wanted five bucks for this, but you can see it goes for $18.99. And on eBay, it's actually selling for more than that. So I'm going to list it up for more than it's actually worth. Uh, moving on to this thing. This is a camera, a Toshiba 
uh, there it is, Cam Camuleo S30, and the thing is, it's pretty much brand new in the box, except all of the cords and stuff are jumbled around, so I'm gonna sell it as open box, which it is, it is an open box, but this should sell some, for some really good money, uh, right here we got some ink action, very happy that I found both of them, because as, well, as you can see right there, it was $1.98, um, I don't know how much I'm really gonna get for these, I think I could get about $20 if I locked them up together, and it was about $4 for the pair of them, so I think that's gonna be a pretty good flip and then last thing is this uh roommates for kids stickers like if a parent wants to buy this and put their kid's name in their room uh it was a pretty good pickup i think this was like a dollar and they'll sell for about 15 so not much miscellaneous stuff i definitely got well i'd say about i'd say equal shirts and equal miscellaneous stuff i definitely need to try to sell some of this man but i'm still waiting for freaking spring and summer man i'm, a, I'm about to make so much money